Hello friends and family! Greetings from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is in good health. Interstate travel has been allowed in Malaysia and so recently we embarked on a two-week Great Malaysian road trip here in the West or Peninsular Malaysia. This is the map of Malaysia. This is East Malaysia and this is West Malaysia. Our trip started in Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia, home to the tallest twin towers in the world. From Kuala Lumpur, we drove all the way to the last state of Malaysia, the state of Perlis, which is before the border separating Malaysia and Thailand. We visited the states of Perak, Perlis, Kedah, Penang, Kelantan, Terengganu, and Pahang. Here's the 13 days itinerary. On day 1, we go to the state of Perak to visit the city of Taiping where we discover Taiping Zoo, the first zoo established in Malaysia. On the second day, we continue to discover the entire city of Taiping, learn numerous historical milestones, and walk under its iconic rain trees. On the third day, we discover the state of Perlis. It is the smallest Malaysian state where you can enjoy a lot of green scenery, exhilarating hikes, viewpoints, and amazing illuminated cave and a lake. On the fourth day, we move to the state of Kedah, the northernmost part of Peninsular Malaysia. The main goal is to reach the vicinity of Lake Beeris, a serene place where you can have unlimited barbecue and enjoy a quiet getaway. On the fifth day, we go to discover the state of Kedah. On Mount Jarai, there is a resort there located at an altitude of 1,000 meters above sea level where you can escape the heat. You can get there by foot, by bicycle, and of course by car. After Mount Jarai, we go on to discover an archaeological site in Bujan Valley. On the sixth day, we briefly visited the Frog Hill located in the state of Penang. On the same day, we moved back to the state of Kedah and discovered the 950 meters treetop walk. They say it is the longest metallic pedestrian suspension bridge in the world. On day 7, we go back to the state of Perak to discover Royal Bilom State Park. And then on the same day, we enter the state of Kelantan to get a glimpse of the highest waterfall in Southeast Asia located in Gunung Stong National Park. On day 8, we go to the small town of Goa Musang for a day break. This town is still part of the state of Kelantan, but there is also something to see here. On day 9, we go to discover the 130 million years old virgin rainforest called Tamanikara. Through the least visited north entrance located in Kuala Ko, in the state of Kelantan. On the same day, we enter the state of Tiringano to discover Lake Kinier. It is the largest man-made lake in mainland Southeast Asia. On day 10, we discover the city of Kuala Tiringano to witness the major developments here since our last visit in 2012. On day 11, we start the trip to Tanjung Gimo, a small coastal village in the district of Rumpin in Pahang State. This village is one of the gateways to enter Choman Island. On day 12, we relax, swim, and barbecue all day on Choman Island. And on day 13, the last day, we go back to Kuala Lumpur. 